Hello, right, Sage Nickel here. Welcome back to Cram Quay. Donkey Kong Country 2. In the last episode, we did Don Quay. Cram Quay. Let's go right into this. I don't even freaking care about intros. Barrel by you. Also, um, I don't tell you with this background music. Um, I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh lord. You can't say that wasn't obvious. That that freaking beat. That's what that song is. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. That's just me, man. I'm sorry. Woo! Got Rambi. Rambunctious Rhino Rambi. But I will say this does have some of my favorite music in the game in it. Just saying. Ooh, that was clean. Completely by accident. Yeah, completely clean. My entire life, not in the nutshell. Never rush the stage, by the way, because you will make a few mistakes here and there, and you will regret them. Trust me. But up, boodoo bop, boodoo bop, bingo. That's what I was talking about. So he's gonna throw barrels at you. Oh no. Oh golly, McG Gooperson. You're gonna follow him. Because now, look what he does. You can see here, and. A chest of treasure. Cannonball. Cannon. Destroy them all! No promises, game. But I will try to destroy all of them. Who am I destroying? Oh, I see. The zingers and the flutters. Okay, no promises. Oh, yeah, by the way, I finished it like 20 seconds ago. I'm just saying. <laughs> Okay, whatever. Back in we go. Dodge the cloaks. They throw in. Oh, yeah, those little things are called cloaks, by the way. And, um, barrel time. One more. Bing, bing, bing. Get Diddy out. Flip. And remade it. What excellent commentary this is, am I right? Don't mind if I just take you. Thank you very much, good sir. Hoo ah! I sometimes, like, just go flying out. I was like, hoo ah! With, like, every jump. It just feels satisfying, and that's another thing I love about this game. But the Game Boy Advance version, no. <laughs> I'm not going to go there again. It's going to happen at least once every episode where I complain over the two. Oh, by the way, in fact, the arrow thing, like when it flashes back and forth between the numbers and the arrow, I always thought the arrow was like a G. Like, that's a G barrel. Not sure why it's called a G barrel, but it just is. And you, we just gonna gym out uh, what number were what number were we on? I cannot I cannot really remember. Let me just take a nice minute to think of this one over. So we had six done in episode one. We had I had about the mine shaft level, the water level, the lava level, the the balloon one. And the squash shaft, and then the boss battle. So, how many was that? I lost count. So, it's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, it's thirteen. Fire thirteen, I think. Whatever, I'll fix it. I'll fix it by the next episode. Whatever it is, I'll, it'll be fixed by the next episode. Oh, it's dark in here. It's a good thing I know a stage. <laughs> yeah, you can go up and find me in the game immediately, and you're in the dark. Yeah. If you couldn't tell, that's the gimmick of the stage that you cannot see Jack. Jack Diddly Squiddly, and um. That brings me to this. Where am I going? I feel like I made a dreadful mistake. Oh, look at me. I know this game. I figured it out. Smart. So, if we go over here, though. Oh, look at those bananas. Oh, look at DK card. Oh, so smart. Mm. Yeah, it's a very clever little Easter egg that snuck in there. Not really an Easter egg, more of like just a secret in general. Two nanner coins. 
Again, at the very beginning of a stage, two banana coins. There you go, just warp to the next world. Later, guys. Well, don't warp necessarily, just, you know, go to Fungi's Flights if you ever... Hey, there he is, Caesar, Caesar Fish. But this is the Wii U version, so they cropped out that one frame that can give people seizures. See, no blinding lights here. Like, I get, like, immediately corrected by that, like, all of a sudden, OW, MY EYES! Oh, and speaking of the whole Game Boy version rant, this stage actually caused me a lot of trouble in the Game Boy version. Because, if you didn't know, the Game Boy Advance version has a lot more collectibles in comparison. That being a feather, for example, which is hidden in every stage. And that feather, a little fun fact, is annoying to find sometimes. Heck, it wouldn't say even one one. It's kind of tricky sometimes. Then do his thing. And I'm in this stage. It was by far harder than that because this isn't a part that I learned a perfect combo for to get through without taking any damage whatsoever. But I cannot get the feather in it if I take that pattern. In fact, I think that section is just up here a little ways. Hey, buddy, how you doing? You're about to become very important for the next five minutes. Here it comes. I messed up. Great. So segment right here. What you want to do is don't let him see you. Okay, I messed up. Here it comes. And there we go. But I should not have gone that way. Ah! I haven't been keeping track of how many times I've died in this series. I feel like I've died a lot before last episode. So, yeah. But yeah, that whole Starfish segment was like the whole speedrunner thing, in case you're wondering. Dang it. That freaking lockjaw, man. Always, always trips me out somehow. Also, that Starfish house on the bottom right there, he had a picture on him in, in the Game Boy Advance version. See, I know things. And you have to get an invisibility star that was hidden in the stage in the Game Boy Advance version to get him. Okay, here comes the boost. And I'm gonna go down. Because down here, besides pain, is a lockjaw that hides a minigame! Not bad. Oh, and the puffer fish are called puffed up. How adorable is that? How adorable is that, poopy? As the people would say, if they were all five. <laughs> I am not sorry how, for how dumb I've been. Just saying. If I'm the most unfunny person on earth, I don't care. As long as I made myself laugh in the process. As I am just immature and dumb. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Oh, that felt good. And there we go. And oh boy, it looks like looks like the service will got a bit of a mess up taken to it. Oh well. Take that banana, banana. Take that banana. Bonanas. I only got one nana. But hey, so does everybody else. By the way, you just got freaking Cranky Kong, Funky Kong, and Wrinkly Kong. Holy crap, look at this freaking circle of life I can take though. Holy crap. That was a nice touch, actually. You can go through all these guys. You know, talk to all them. Or you just detour between levels. That's actually a cool touch I've never noticed. Hmm. So let's save. As always. <clears throat> save money. Live better. Nickel Mart. Welcome to Nickel Mart. Thank you. Come again. Okay, I'm not doing that. However, I'm pretty good at that voice. Shut up. Shut up, Cronky. And you, <clears throat> give up now before the kids realize you're not as popular as Donkey Kong was. Sadly true. I mean, the Smash Bros. community likes you a lot, Diddy. I mean, not exactly. Surprise, surprise. So it isn't that so-called video game here, the video game heroes. I, I hope I'm getting paid for all my help. 
the so-called video game heroes okay for just five bucks you can buy mem memoirs what a dynamic and exciting life i've led you'll be lucky to be in half as many games as i've been that's true i was hoping for more frames this, this time but no don't let old cranky do anything just give him some third rate of stand frames i love it see you're back again everybody likes old cranky I bet my ugly old wife doesn't get half as many visits. I think you've gotten this one already. It's just from back. Pick a subject. I know everything about this game. I mean, I'd imagine. You've even got old Winky. Where did you find him? Seriously. I want to find Winky. Um. Bramble Blast. With only, with only the dragonflies left, I'm sure you will, I'm sure you'll be alright. Hmm. Dare you come back without a sack full of tokens? Okay. Who needs a wife when you got money? <laughs> that is sad, hasn't it? Isn't it? Oh, that's not the sound you'd make in the Game Boy version. You're too tiny to make that noise. You make wimpy high ya sound effects. Hoo ha! I can make, make like a full jump over these guys by the time my jump's just right, but you know, I don't care. Bing! Oh, that would hit DK coin! Nice little hidden Easter egg. Not really. I got another secret, not Easter egg. I gotta learn my freaking speech craps. So, our second spawn level. Oh, by the way, you should know, there are about three of each, just about three of each stage for every type of stage in this game. <clears throat> There are three pirate. There are three, three blah, 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 blah. There are three. Let me say that again. Um, pirate ship levels, kind of like Pirate Panic and um, all those other ones. There are three rigging levels. There are three underwater levels. There are three lava levels. And that spans a long way too. Like you see, like some late game levels with these old themes. It goes on and on and on. Okay, so what you wanna do? And bingo! Thank you, Squid. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. These little barrels will pop these guys open. How are you doing, buddy? You know, I'm basically the Cranky Kong, the real life Cranky Kong of this game. I know everything about it, and I have a lot of things to talk about about it. Meanwhile, you'll never hear a single word about me because I'm playing through this game, talking about this game only, and nothing about me. The guy you came to see talk about, talk about, I don't know, something. And I know nothing about myself and everything about this game. <laughs> Good stories, you know. I have been thinking about getting like a, finding someone to be like a perfect co-commentator, which is very, very efficient because I'm moving soon and Ryan would live like right next to me. Our, uh, our buck, our hockey puck, him, our Ryan. For the sake of, for the sake of sanity, I'm just gonna call him Ryan instead of having to correct myself every time I say his name. It's just sorry. So, yeah, he, he lives like right down the street from my new house. So maybe he'd be a good co-commentator, and I should have brought Dixie along. Oh, no. Okay, then, mental note. Once I get Rattly, like a four windows, sword, a map, and a, not a gun. Just saying. I should have looked carefully at Wrinkly's place or whatever. Because I will need, need to answer a question about her, her house later on for Swanky. So I'm gonna die here. About a attitude, I love that. It's that drum roll at the end. It's so good. This is actually one of my favorite songs in the game, especially the Game Boy Advance version. It's better than that one, in my opinion. I don't know. What do you? What can I say? Game Boy Advance version is catchy. Yeet. See now that is a efficiency. 
Okay, I was just trying to screw around and see what I could do with it, but I guess not much then. Ah, this game is so cool. Let's go. I love that walking out the door animation of it. It's just floating across the ground. I haven't been counting. Oh crap, oh crap, that is not good at all. I should do that. Okay, then we've done two more stitches. That was 13. I think that's what. Whatever. 14. 15. Let's go. Uh, hoo, uh, hoo, uh, hoo, uh, hoo. What the heck? I totally hit his head. With my behind, my, my snack booty here. That is that is what it was. Don't give me any of the ball. That is bullcrap. Don't tell me that. Mini game. So yeah, I really hate this character. Radley, you are the worst SNES handle, buddy. But you are amazing in the Game Boy Advance version. I should play the Game Boy Advance version after this, just so I can, you know, relive the glory days of Radley. Not this unsatisfying heap of terribleness. Also. Jump down here, trust me, and you'll find the world's most insanely trollish deca I hate you. Okay. Nice pattern there, buddy. Zigzag, zigzag, left, right, back, forth. Try to catch me, fool. Just gotta shake every time we do that. Dun 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 dun. Rattle battle, I love that name. I fired a get him before I died! Martha! Okay, I'm not doing the freaking Batman voice for that. He doesn't deserve Batman's voice. Uh, nah. And one, two, one, two, three, four, six, seven, seven. By the way, it's actually possible to play this minigame without Rattly. If I live... If I live through this stage with both Diddy and Dixie Kong, I'll show you what I mean. It's kind of impressive what happens. Wait, 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 wait. Nice. <laughs> just let me fly real quick. Dude didn't even touch the ground, he just went flying away. Booty! You could throw like absolute booty. Oof, I hate this character. Of course that counts, though. King! Take the L. Take the L, man. In the shape of an L on her forehead. Well, I'm gonna stop singing that song right now because I've been singing it since Partners in Time. That was a long time ago, my friends. Don't even think about it till it ends. Okay, I'm done about. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. No one ever talk about that song again. Okay, good. You're all lovely people. Just never talk about Smash Mouth in front of me. I will kill you. Screw you. You are complete bullcrap. Do 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 do. Boot it, boot it, boot the frick, man! Ooh, what the frick! Good thing I kept a backup plan. <laughs> well, then it is not good. It is not good. Not good. It's so freaking catchy, man. Keep the one guy alive. Just a mental note. And I do not wish to get hit anymore. 
in this stage. Okay. Can I have up there? I'm not gonna do that. Got him. Got him. Not risking it with you, buddy. Got him. Got it. Got it. Good. So I'm gonna go back now. So I want to get this guy to come over here. That sneeze so badly. Hey, we got it. And look at that. He's just sitting here waiting for us. Weird, isn't it? And that's how you ride him here. Cute little detail. We are now the snake. And I think I messed with this jump or something. I can't remember what exactly happens. But yeah, it's cool. Whoa, 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 what? You lie. Get out of here. Huh. I could have made it over the gap last time around. Neat. Sweet. Sure. I'm okay with it. We all make mistakes. That is bull. There was a platform there. Whatever. Just take the L. Take that L on your forehead and just put it on yours. You know? Oh, of course, that was also a ledge. I clearly wasn't just floating right there. That's another problem this game has: collision detection. Cliffs aren't cliffs, man. They're just they're just pallets. They really could have done better with that. Just saying. I mean, camera and collision detection are the two biggest flaws this game has, and those are the only flaws. Every day I feel like it's not your fault, and that's because a lot of time it kind of really isn't. You just die for some stupid reason. That's a good life. Okay, so that was... 16! Wait, no, no, 16. There we go. Slime. Ah, yeah. Ew. Gross. Oh, frick. Um, Snapjaw, no. Your name is Snapjaw. You're not a good. I don't think I've ever heard that one. <clears throat> That's kind of funny. I've never heard that death jingle before. I've never died in the rating level. Huh. Neat. Or there's not the SNES version. I haven't. Note, I have played the Game Boy Advance version several times prior to this. And it's the better one. Trust me. If they had it out, out on Virtual Console, I totally would have played that over this. Just saying. Screw this game. No. I love Donkey Kong Country. I don't care which one it is. It's an awesome game. It's a 
pretty okay fan base. Also, take this and go down. Not bad, huh? And we'll grab those. Whew. Okay, this is going terribly. I've never done this poorly on this minigame before. Holy crap, damn it! And just jumped to your death! <laughs> I've had runs where I've grabbed that coin and just fallen to my death, like, unceremoniously. SUCKER! If you're like, da 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 Like, you like, the victory and the, and the losing music all played at once. It's like, you are the win loser. You cannot do it! Yeah, that seems about right. You cannot do. Oh God! Oh Jeebus, man! I almost tripped right there. That would have been ugly. Shut up. You're not good. Get out of here. Your existence is bullcrap. Only reason I'm still alive is because I let you. I like how it makes the cannonballs shooting sound effect never hit them, even though it's just the ball like lightly dinking them in the head. Like, ow, that hurts slightly. Um, you, you, got to think about these kinds of things, you know. Uh-oh. This part is tricky. Got to time your throws just so. Yes. <laughs> yes, I love that. <laughs> okay, grab it. And screw the ending. We need this coin better more than that. Boom boom ba. That's a fire. Fifteen, sixteen, sixteen fires, sixteen speed on fire. Whatever. We're going out to the Swanky's bonus banana and then it says. It was great to see you back. I wish you could win everything. I really... <sighs> oh, great. Um, Funky's fun. Screw this to bottle. There you go. What can that snake buddy do? He jumps. Let's play on. Never fish. Light. Glimmers. Glow. Muscle bound, he's club. But you never saw him, but I did. He's he's a cool dude. Live, you start with you start with five. Press the A button. Is rambunctious. His name's Don Quay. Everybody's name is Flub Club. Airplanes two. Okay. Great. Okay, good. <gasps> what does the SNES version have over the Game Boy Advance version? It might have a slightly better rendition of Bramble Blast. Dang it, this music is so good. This is Sticker Bush Symphony, if you don't know what it is. And it is the best song in gaming. No, shut up, it is. Like, it is by far the greatest thing I've heard in a long time. You like video games? Listen to this. It's, it's good for you. It's like mess. It's Advil for your ears. Sorry, I just need to take a minute to just listen. Ah, 
Okay. Mini game time. See why I like this stage? It's so soothing, man. It it deserves a name as the best. It deserves the title of best song in the game. But it also deserves the name of best song in the gaming industry. I'm just saying, man. It, this is too good. Also, where in God's name am I meant to go here? Okay, I'm lost. Okay, progress, hurry. No! <laughs> Dude's like, what? <laughs> what the heck? Okay, whatever. Just go back in. No big deal. No big deal. But here's a little thing I like to do. We take Dixie Kong. And we skip it. One, two. Nice. Nice! Nicely done! See, now that is how we do it. That is how we do it. That is how we beat the game. Yeah! And shoot over there. And just like that. Bingo. We are a good halfway down with this stage. Huh. Oh Jesus. No, I messed up. Son of a... Eh. Son of a boost. Oh, I felt good. I'm good at this stage, man. I love doing that kind of thing. Just be like, I'm so good at this, and dying immediately after. Like, that wasn't even intentional. Yeah, that was a good speed run. Why didn't it turn? There we go, baby. That's the run I... Stop doing that! Okay. So I gotta get that feel good out of my system, you know? Sorry about that, just checking the audio. I wasn't sure if I had the settings on right or not. Free ouch. You are the worst pain in my booty. Even gets back up, he's like, freaking squeal, guys! Okay, whatever. Get that N. May as well, right? Three, four, bang, 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 bang. Look at me, I'm so good at games. And I won't die again to prove it. Freaking shut up, fam. As a speedrunning tactic, trust me. That was fully intentional. That freaking do anything for you? Oh, that's the one we want. That freaking do anything for you? Thank you, Squawks. Love you. Squawks, you're awesome. Just saying, buddy. Squawks is my favorite ammo buddy in this game. Not even the rambunctious ram you cannot do you, man. You're just too good. Not even the power of you know what stage can can take you down. However, I refuse to mess this up because otherwise I'll do this whole stage over again. And nobody wants that.
Nice. Heh. <sighs> Good run. We just beat another stage as Dixie Kong. I gotta remember that one. Okay, so Cudgel's Contest. His Contest. <gasps> oh, he's so big! And gray and gross. What the frick, dude? What happened to you? I've never seen a gray crocodile before. That's not natural. You see, Dogs are about that. Running now. Dunked on. So yeah, this is a um, very not fun boss. He's very boring. Run, jump, wait. Run, jump, wait. Run, jump, wait. Watch, rinse, repeat. It's just that, the entire match. If you go on to one side of the stage, jump, and then do the same thing over again. And then, grab, send on your way there. Jump, and then let go of it. Then, go, then let go of the run button, then continue to run. You can do this whole boss, no problem. See, it's just that over and over again. There's something in the Game Boy Advance version I do like a lot. On the last throw, if you hit him in mid-air with a TNT, the game will soft block. And it's hilarious. Anyway, boss over. Okay, that's it. <clears throat> what number were we on? You know what? Let's just take a minute to go over this stuff. We've played like through three rows of this game already. So you may as well take a nice look at this. Yo, Funky, ready to be useful? Let's go. So let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna do this again. Six stages. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So go over here. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen stages. Eighteen, nineteen. Awesome. Anywho, guys, that is it for this episode. If y'all enjoyed, thank you so much for sticking around today. It's been a great time. Ooh yeah. Ooh 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 oh oh yeah. This music. Ooh. <laughs> I gotta say, Funky's Flies remains one of my favorites. Anyway, guys, if y'all enjoyed this episode, like, comment, scrub, subscribe, fam. We all enjoy your company, and hey, we'll see you on the next one. I've been H. Nickel, been a beautiful audience for watching, and au revoir. Be letting the little